Hey everyone, it's Darby from Blue Television Games, and what you just watched was a course I made in Mario Kart Live using over 200 of my NES cartridges from my collection. I also placed Rob the Robot here. We're going to take a closer look at it now through the eyes of the Mario Kart. Uh, there's the BTG logo made by Slendy Notch, one of my subscribers. See how many of these games you can name in the comments below if you want a little challenge. Over to the right was the Super Mario Bros. 3 boxed. Off in the distance you can see Super Mario Bros. 2 boxed. And then over here we have a Mario plushie. There's good old Rob again. Uh, we have games pretty much blocking us for the most part so we can't get to areas we don't want to go. Stack of games there. Ooh! <laughs> we almost knocked down Chippendales and Championship Bowling. My bad. Uh, it's so funny when you're playing this game how fast it looks. Uh, when you're watching it with a regular camera in the room, it looks so much slower. A bunch more games. There's a Blue TV, I believe Fish made me another one of my subscribers. There's the Mario 3 box from the back, and we knocked it over. Oops. <laughs> At least say sorry, Mario. All right, over here we got some more games. There's the Mario 2 box. I love those arrow signs, how they light up when they show in your camera. It's so cool. I love this game so much. All right, there's another NES Advantage controller. Once again, Mario Brothers 2. And then a few more games wrapping us around to lead us under the table. Now to the left, we won't be able to see the games because they're facing the other way, but to the right, there's some more games you can see. I think we saw River City Ransom, maybe even Mega Man 2 over there. As we head towards the exit from under the table, there's Mario Brothers Boxed and Super Mario Brothers Boxed. So that's pretty cool. I put a TV and an actual Nintendo with Super Mario Brothers and Duck Hunt right here. It's actually on the system on the screen, which I thought was a nice touch. Just kind of cool to add to the course and make it a little more dynamic. Uh, for the most part, I just wanted carts lining the course so it had a similar feel throughout. Here's a close look at some more of the games. This took a long time to set up and I kept fearing that they would all just domino over and knock each other over. There's a little spiny plushie right here. I forgot about him. So this part of the course, I wanted to divide to where you could go to the right or the left. Uh, in a little bit, I'm going to play a match against my wife, and I thought it'd be cool to have two different routes right here, so you could kind of split up and try to cut each other off. Let's get turned around here. The old NES and the TV. I saw a Simpsons game back there. Now we'll head to this little chair thing. Underneath, I put some LED lights and some more games. Initially, I had no games under here. When I did some test video, I didn't think it looked as cool, so I put some more games under there. And some more games that lead us to the cat tree. I had to make a cardboard ramp so we could get over it. It's not too high up, so you can drop off safely here without breaking the cart. And then here is the NES base I had made by a company named Gitendo. It's super cool. It's one of my favorite things in the world, combining my favorite instrument with my favorite system. There's a boxed Nintendo Entertainment System that I have. And we have Shy Guy who got knocked over sitting next to a Nintendo Zapper. The two zappers lead us under these stools. We have Luigi here to say congratulations, you finished a lap. And we're back to some more of the boxed games. Panic Restaurant, Paperboy, Friday the 13th. We got all kinds of stuff there. And then we have a couple amiibo at the first gate waiting for us to finish as well. So that's a look at the course through the eyes of Mario. All right, now that we've checked that out in detail, let's go ahead and do a race against my wife as Luigi. Oh no! All right, now I'm gonna race my wife. She's in the other room. She's actually in this room and I'm in my game room. And I'm gonna try to keep up with her. I'm not gonna try to outrace her or whatever. I wanna make sure you can see her carts. So you can kinda see what it's like to play multiplayer in this. It's super fun. The carts will interact with each other and uh, you can bump into each other. You can throw items at each other. It's really fun. Let me let her get ahead so you can kinda see what her cart looks like. She doesn't turn into an animated character like Mario, but it still looks really cool. You can still tell it's a cart. Uh, and it's it counts, you know, first and second place. As you can see, it knows who's in the lead. Super cool. When we get to that far corner we just passed, sometimes the footage will get a little choppy. That's just because I'm pretty far away from my Switch at that point. All right, there's one lap down. I also have a ground camera set up so you can kind of see what it looks like in the room here and there. I only had one camera. We didn't have anyone to walk around the room to help us film this. That would have been really cool, though. But we just got one ground camera. Bye-bye. All right, she's back ahead. Oop. <laughs> Bumping into her. My bad. This area can be really tough with two people, <laughs> as you can see, <laughs> as we're getting stuck against each other. Uh, oh, jeez. I think she did that on purpose. I think she's legit mess. Oh, she might have hit the banana. I don't know. She might be messing with me at this point. All right. Lap three. Oh, <laughs> there went Super Mario Brothers 3 again. Uh, it's like bumper cars more than racing at this point. I got some coins and a banana. 
I'll just lay it down back there. Maybe she'll crash into it next time. Oops! <laughs> I keep crashing into everything. All right, she's ahead again through the cat tree. Isn't it really cool seeing the other cart in your camera, though? I just love. Oh, jeez. Luigi's down and in the way now. Oh, and she banana peeled me. I can't believe it. <laughs> I'm being nice this race. All right, let's see if we can get ahead of her just for a little bit. Lap number four. Zip buyer. Okay, cool. I'm going to take the left path, I guess. Ooh, I think she hit my banana peel, too. All right, I better slow down. There's one thing I know for sure. If I let her win, the chances she'll play this with me again are a lot higher. <laughs> I think she'll be upset with me if I crush her. Okay. Oh, I got stuck on Luigi. I don't think she'll need my help now. <laughs> so many of the games have been knocked down. Uh-oh. Oh, no. <laughs> Dang it. All right, all right. See if we can catch up a little bit. Okay. Oh, she crashed into the Goomba over there. Oh, now we're stuck again. <laughs> Come on. Sometimes you just have to back up. Oh, geez. All the games are getting knocked down. Hopefully no games will be injured throughout this recording. <laughs> I love my retro games. I don't want them destroyed. Oh, no. We're stuck again. All right. And oh, yep. yep. Oh, the zapper. Is she going to crash into the zap? Nope, she corrected herself. She is going to win. Oh, maybe not. I got to let her win, right? If I want to stay married, maybe she should win this one. <laughs> We're having a lot of trouble finishing this course. Oh, <laughs> I hope that wasn't a good game. Uh, Come on, Luigi, you can do it. Go, yes. Oh, <laughs> we're never going to finish this race. All right, that was awesome. So much fun. I hope you guys enjoyed this course I made in Mario Kart Live. If you want to see some more crazy courses, let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit the thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel and you like what you see, be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. That way you'll know when I release new videos. You can join the BTG Discord, follow me on Instagram and Twitter. Thank you all so much for watching, and until next time, I'll see you around.